<clears throat> Alright, what's going on everybody? It's your boy. I'm here to give you uh, this review for uh, the Real Households of Atlanta. Right quick, I know y'all like, video quality is different. On some real shit, I cannot find the battery to my fucking uh, camera. And right now, I'm try like I said, I've been trying to cook, trying to clean, trying to do laundry, trying to pack shit up to put the shit in storage. And I can't find it. And I guarantee fucking tell you when I finally find the motherfucker, it's probably going to be in the one place. Like, it's probably staring in my face right now and I just don't know it. Anyway, with all that being said, I'm going to get y'all ass the meat and taters, okay? Because, look, y'all want me to review uh, Potomac, Potomac, potatoes, whatever the fuck you want to call this shit, damn it. And I got to do work out of New York tonight, man. Look, I ain't going to sit here and talk about her motherfucker, then we're going to talk about the big shit. Ready? Here we go. Fatra getting ready to go to the main man Mar. She gonna take her motherfucking kids because she want the kids to motherfucking see it. Kim and you know shitty, they ass gonna go. Okay, all right, right. we gonna see him. We know Kim will be in her motherfucking feelings. Fuck that hoe. Uh, Apollo calls and uh, he talks to Aiden and even confirms that he had already talked to the children. So of course him and the blogs talking about he ain't talked to his kids. We all know it's built up the motherfucking hype for the motherfucking show. And he married to a lie earlier because so he gonna lie to man. Fuck them. Um, Candy and Todd. Long story short, working on dang going restaurant thing. He wants the two live crew to, you know, pretty much offer up their recipes and shit and even somewhat be back in the kitchen and shit, but he ain't talked to them yet, so he tell Gandy, hey, let's do this at your mama place, and you looking like, oh, I don't know, Todd. Whatever. We gonna see how that shit play out. Kenya, Kenya, her house ain't quite where she wanted to be. Um... Let me see my boo thing, uh, Cynthia come over and shit. They get to talking. Cutting all the fat, we cutting all the fat out of this shit. Uh, long story short, hey, she won't, she gonna talk to her Aunt Lori. She wishes that her family had the same reaction that, uh, fucking damn, uh, Cynthia did. See, I get this shit to y'all under two minutes. How you doing? All right, where we at? Where we going with it? All right, so Phaedra has a staff and the luxury is sweet. But you can't pay Todd his motherfucking money. Okay. Kim's confessional, her hair looked nice. Her hair, her hair looked nice. Granted, she died that shit, but her hair looked nice. She sure did. I forgot to mention horse she got invited. And I'm even sitting, and you know, even later on, horse talks about her motherfucking uh, you know, I think it was a grandfather and shit. And I'm just sitting here like, child, this motherfucker don't know about a motherfucker underground world. Why in the fuck are you taking her to a million man march? The only thing she wants these million mans to march on is her motherfucking pussy, but I digress. Now, um, when Kim shows up to this motherfucking event, child. Why this bitch got a mop on her head? I can't, I can't with Kim. Not tonight, not tonight. Who shit, return to sender. And the congresswoman mentions, you know, um, how, you know, black men are being killed all. A lot of people don't like black men. A child, I will believe it was a black child, had asked her, uh, is there a white, is there a jail for white people? And Kim removed her kids from that. I will give her a pass because I do understand it's certain topics just you don't want to be discussed, you know, in front of your children. And her children are not at that place that she wants to introduce that to them. So that's truly understandable. But what I will say is, it's also one of those where I think the Congresswoman should have had a little bit more, you know, situational awareness of what the fuck was going on. Now, Kenya, uh, we at Kenya, how Aunt Lori drops by unannounced where you know Kenya's cousin and shit. And you know, Lori whole thing is she never wanted to be in the middle. And she, you know, does not judge her sister, but her sister had every right to give up Kenya. And she's pretty much telling Kenya, like, look, enough is enough. Okay? Enough is enough. And we're going to see what happens when the shit come back. Okay? All right. We really ain't got a whole lot. Like I said, Kim did the whole motherfucker. Oh, shit. The Deadpool movie coming out. Oh, shit, bitch. When this shit come out? Okay, I'm gonna be looking February 12th. Okay, I got I gotta remember. I, I need to see I need to see that shit. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh like I said, Phaedra, they having a little saving our sons, you know, thinking Majid don't nobody really fucking care. Uh, you know, Kim's kids are acting well, not really acting up. One just don't want to be the other, other one is sleepy. It is what the fuck it is. You know, she has fucking kids. And that wasn't truly that's not an event for children. But you would think she would have known that before she went the fuck in. Don't really care moving the fuck on. Kenya, all I'm going to say about the whole situation is everybody has their opinions. But in a situation like this, y'all already know about, you know, my situation with some of my family and how the fuck I feel about shit. That's why, you know, I can say let it go. But one thing, and here's the thing, this is probably going to, I'm giving y'all some nuggets right now. While we are, while most people get so hooked on, you know, those that don't want to be in our lives 
we need to be worried about those that are already there. Now, she has reconnected with her father. She has that relationship. She has that relationship with Lori. She has relationships with people who actually give a fuck about her. My thing is stop giving energy and attention to the motherfuckers that don't want to be there. Okay? And on some real shit, if her mama really wanted to be in her life when Kenya blew the fuck up, don't you think that her mom would have came the fuck around? But here's the thing. I respect her gangster for not fucking doing that. At least she has some fucking decency. Talking about the mom and shit. But on some real shit, worry about who is already here. I got that. There's questions that want to be answered, but the reality is, it's certain shit we won't know until we fucking die. On some real shit, we won't have certain questions answered until we fucking die. So that's all I got to say about that. Okay, right quick. So, um, me, man, March, Kim left. Who cares? Uh, yeah, pretty much it. Uh, horse just being a whore, slobbering over, you know, um, uh, shitty's motherfucking son. I mean, but we all know that shit was gonna happen. You know, again, like I said, any, you know, walking legal piece of motherfucking day, she, you know, ready to jump on. So, I mean, no secret there. And, uh, yeah, with, uh, Todd and Joyce and them, it's not, a, like I said, it's not a, a complete yes, but it's not a complete no either. So, we'll see what the fuck happens. Okay, so... I will be nice right now. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna tip the yam to fake to Phaedra and Bravo. Cause regardless of how I feel about them, it is nice that we get this. Okay, it is nice that we get this. At least some fucking station. Okay, was fucking willing to broadcast this shit. Might not have been the whole motherfucking thing, but at least somebody fucking broadcasting the motherfucking million man march. That's all the fuck I'm gonna say. Okay, but Nene talking about some mm -hmm, and candy face gonna be stuck, bitch. Your face already motherfucking stuck. Talking about pick your face up, bitch. Pick your nose back up. Go back to where the fuck you got your damn plastic surgery. And pick your own motherfucking face up, and then we can motherfucking talk. And you know what's it? Y'all, look, look, look. I've been rocking. I've been trying to rock with Cindy. Look, I, I, I didn't told her get her motherfucking spine off layaway. I thought she got her damn spine off layaway. Then you go back. Then, well, then, then I just get done saying for motherfucking Kenya. Okay, be happy about the motherfuckers that's already. Why the fuck is Justin Bieber in the motherfucking movie? I can't. I will not. Hell. Okay, wait. No. Okay, it look like it might be a comedy. Pause, cause you know, you know, fucking Nene ain't worth it. This, this look. Oh, what is this, y'all? I might, I might have to go back and watch this. Look like this shit gonna be funny. Film night, Zoolander two. All right, you. I might watch it. I'm sorry. But, um, you know, it's one of those, like, be happy with who's already in your life. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, y'all want to start this motherfucking friendship off anew? Get the fuck out of here, because she finna go back to being that same motherfucking weak bitch that she already was. I hope that shit don't motherfucking happen, but that's what the fuck I get. And at the same exact time, we all know Lanithi ain't, and she ain't got them checks, she ain't got them coin, and getting that boy, ain't got no motherfucking jobs, ain't got shit. So how is the best way she can get back into this shit? It's through motherfucking Cindy. And then when Cindy was like, you know, Kenya, my girl, mm, get the fuck out of here. All right, and let me just say, didn't, didn't I already fucking say it? Didn't I already say it? Oh, shit, my sister hit me. I got to take something out real quick. But didn't I already fucking say it? And then when she was like, can my girl rip? But she not my girl. You know what? I can't with Cynthia. I can't. I can't. Y'all, I can't. You know You know what? Here's they fuck it. You know what? Here, I, 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 got a, I got a separate pair of glasses. I call these my old man glasses. For now on... I'm gonna start wearing these in these motherfucking videos. I I I, I feel that I I'm, I'm gonna need bigger lenses to sit here and do some motherfucking real. But that's all the fuck y'all finna get with this shit. Rate, come, subscribe, shit. I'm gonna see y'all for the Plutomic hoes. All right, Plutomic. Bye.